Welcome to Creating Tracks. This is the fifth part of the series on how to mix live recordings. And today we're going to continue fine-tuning the rough mix that we made last time. Right here we still have two room mics that we have muted all the time. Um, we're going to listen to them first to see what they sound like. <laughs> These two room microphones we can use to uh, blend them into our mix and make the live recording sound really like we're sitting in the room kind of and we're gonna split them turn one left one right and listen to them again <laughs> Okay, so now we have them stereo at least. And although they don't really sound good by themselves, they uh, will contribute to the general sound of the mix once we mix them in a little bit. And one thing that's really great about room microphones in bigger rooms is that they add a natural reverb to your mix. So you don't have to use any kind of plugin, any kind of effect, just mix them in. And the way I'm doing that is I turn them down and then I start playing the track and then uh, I bring them back into the mix so I enable them and then just blend them in a little bit just start with a little bit and then move it move the fader up so you can basically hear the room come into the mix and then you can stop when it's enough <laughs> So just at the end there you could see how I muted the, um, the room microphones and you could hear how the mix lost a bit of depth and we've used quite a bit of room now but as this is a live recording that's kind of the, the way I want to go. Um, enough room so you can basically hear the natural reverb quite loud actually.
So now that we have mixed in the room every track that we need in our mix and for the final product kind of is in. And what comes now is basically applying uh, equalizer to every track or most tracks. And we're gonna start with the low cut. That's what I always do because I wanna cut the low frequencies in every track that doesn't really need low frequencies. So you can get rid of signals f that come from the bass or for the kick from the kick drum, for example, and clean up your sound a little bit because a lot of uh, low frequencies make it sound muddy overall. And depending on the track, I cut the lows between 30 and 60 hertz, something like that. Okay, so now we have the low cut on our room microphones. And what is beautiful about Ableton as well is that we can copy paste effects. So I'm just gonna copy this one and put it on the guitar. Because we want the low cut on every track except for the bass and the drums. Yeah, and you can hear a lot of bass guitar on the guitar track. Um, that's why we need the low cut. Most frequencies of the guitar are right here, and that's what we're gonna fine tune later on. <laughs> So the low cut for the guitar is in place right now and we're gonna copy paste over the effect to the brass section. I always adjust the low cut individually per track so that lows don't get lost where they actually need it. and that's the low cut on the brass section and um, that's how we're gonna continue with each and every track until there's a low cut for everything as I said except for the kick drum and the bass guitar next time we're gonna hear an example how it sounds when the low cut is on each and every track except for bass and uh, drums and um, then we're gonna continue using equalizer on individual instruments it's a little different than in a studio situation but you'll see what I mean. Until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.